Um, I'm delighted that uh, IIT Madras is taking the lead in creating this network. And the fact that there are so many uh, participants for this program today from India itself shows that uh, this network has not been created a day too soon. Looks like there's enough, uh, you know, enough uh, going on in the country in this discipline to warrant such a network. Um, in many things, uh, you know, India has come of age in many, many areas, even in engineering and so on in the last 20 or 30 years. This is the, the third network I am part of in some session. The others are, of course, in my domain of uh, specialization. Uh, we were involved in creating a network for, uh, uh, you know, faculty uh, researchers who work in telecommunications uh, 30 years ago, almost yeah, 30 plus years ago. And uh, recently, we created one for telecom standards uh, across industry and uh, and uh, so on. In all those cases, we actually had that much more difficulty. The number of initial uh, founding participants or you know the, the the critical mass wasn't that large. But today, from whatever I can see, uh, you know, all the way from Mizoram, I heard I tried to uh, sort of store away the, the locations you mentioned, but I did hear Mizoram, and of course, all the big states of the country. So it looks like there's a fairly a good um, base for creating this network in India. And of course, there's a huge global network and you are plugging into that. So my guess is uh, this is being done at the very, I know it's, uh, it's, not, it's not gonna have some of the traditional challenges when new networks are formed of having sufficient critical mass and having connect, you know, sufficient connections to uh, similar uh, uh, networks elsewhere and so on. All those seem to be in place already. So I really uh, want to wish this effort, uh, you know, speedy success, therefore, not just success, but speedy success. working in the field of memory studies for 20 years now and I can safely say that this was the most comprehensive event that I have ever attended. So this is uh, true with regard to the keynotes with their amazing range from literary studies, literary theory, literary history to digital media and archive research to literature and cognitive sciences crossovers all the way to the cognitive neurosciences, humans and animals, and to extended reality. So uh, this was just fantastic. And I think this also applies to the researchers roundtables, where I saw such a spectrum of original ideas and exciting projects. So all in all, what I take from this event is an extreme sense of innovation for our field, coupled with an extreme depth of knowledge about the field. So I really think it is no exaggeration to say that the future of memory studies seems to lie in India.
more, Abhishek and Marion co-founded the Indian network as a national network within the framework of the Memory Studies Association. We as the Memory, Memory Studies Association are very glad to have such a vibrant community of scholars as part of the association. And it is also largely due to Abhishek's and Marin's magical drive that the memory studies as a field continues to grow.